close the cover, see if we can send him over on a load and deliver. Now which way is he going to go? Okay, interesting. Looks like he's found the road at least. And straight into the power pole. Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another episode of Erlenbrat. So we're looking at a couple of new purchases here. Purchases here. So we've got the Gawil LT115 Master, I believe it is. LT Master F115. So we picked that, picked that up used in the used vehicle sales. We've also picked up a forage harvester. So we've got the New Holland uh, FR780. Okay, so that was about 50% off. A um, couple of other things we've sorted out. So... Just, just let's just do a quick recap of the farm. So, central warehouse has gone in. I fixed out, fixed up the honey pallet issue, issue that I was having. So that was like some weird terraforming thing that we had. So that's been sorted. I've relocated the bee production and spawn point to just here. So obviously this is the shipping mod. And then when the pallet spawns, it will go to the central warehouse. Same with the sheep and the wool. Now I've skipped forward a few days. Um, and we've got our cash up to 886,000 as you can see and that's largely due to this uh, antenna mod which gives us about the same income as a solar panel and then we've put in some additional solar panels so in total we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so up until a couple of videos ago we only had probably 4 or 5 so it's starting to give us about 60 grand a month um, I've also removed the least uh, LT Master, so that's gone, and our Class Jaguar Forage Harvester is also gone. So I've still got the trailer, which is hanging out over here. Okay, but basically, what we what we're going to do today is stock the animals back up because their feed is basically depleted in every every area except for these guys. So we'll get the animals refed. We've got some products to sell in the central warehouse, so we'll have a look at those. So we've also got to get it, get our wool um, pr producing again. We max that on the honey, so the honey is obviously basically an autopilot. So we're theoretically, we're theoretically got a never-ending supply of honey currently. Um, another thing that I could look to do is get a so if we just go into here a silo extension for the central warehouse. Uh, Fifty-three thousand liters of fabric so we're going to put down the tailor shop as well to get some clothes um, coming out of there as well so yeah today is largely just taking stock of our vehicles um, and getting our animals sorted so actually first thing we need to do is let's get this oh, I've got to be in this to overload don't I yeah we're gonna go sell this honey straight up so let's go and do that so obviously we've got three truckloads of honey to sell uh, we've still got that five hundred thousand dollar loan so we're going to keep the balance high currently because what we what we're looking to do is purchase um, the equipment that we need so obviously the forage harvester was a big obviously the forage harvester was an important purchase for our mowing operation and I'm also thinking about changing that operation back to a more manual process. Uh, but we'll see. Now that we don't have the issue with the leasing costs. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about sending a worker off. But I just want to see what's most effective and most efficient. And we should get about 80 grand here. So 103, so that's not too bad. Not a bad day's not a bad day's work for this truck and trailer setup. Now what I'm gonna try and do is not do that. I'll get this guy back out on the main road and we'll send him back to a to the warehouse with a worker and see if the worker can navigate uh, this travel route. So let's see how we go. I've got a feeling we're gonna have a problem straight up, but we'll see. I should probably, probably should have shut that gate. Anyway, let's just leave that guy running. Alright, let's go. Now we probably need a, a suitable header for this. Let's have a look. 
So we want forage harvester headers. So we've got to go to the tools, forage harvester headers. Now hopefully there's a new Hollander mower, which there is not. Now I'm of the understanding that any of these will fit. Okay, so what is this? This is a that's a mower. The Capella is a mower as well. Oh, I'm tempted to just lease one just to make sure it works. So I don't want to spend 64 grand and then have to sell it. So let's just try that. So it's only going to be three grand. And then we'll get this guy on task right away. So uh, this can almost also take silage additive. So let's get some silage additive in here. Now it looks like that worker has made it back. Yes, he has. Cool. Now will it do a load and deliver? Let's see if it'll do that. So if we go create job, uh, it looks like we can only do a go to. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's get this refilled. Cool. All right, let's get this repaired while we're here. Okay, seven grand to repair. Beautiful. Let's hook up this mower and take it for a test run. So obviously, obviously the um, the baler and the forage wagon, the forage harvester, sorry, were costing us an absolute fortune um, in leasing costs. So to have those removed is going to be um, going to be perfect. So what I'll do is I'll grab this trailer, I'll go and empty it. Actually, we won't be able to do that because we need this guy to go and grab our LT master. So I'll go and grab that and then we'll hook it up, set it up in our position that we had it before. And then we'll start feeding it some grass, get some grass silage cranking. Now we should also make sure that this is repaired. Now I've got the grass pickup attachment for the forage harvester, so I'll probably have to modify that to suit um the New Holland forage harvester. I'm just gonna call it a forage wagon again, but Okay, let's get these what I might do is I might repair both of these guys. So if we get into there, come on over to the repair point. So triangle to repair. Yes. Triangle to repair. Cool. It's going to make sure you don't accidentally sell the items. Because I've done that before. It's quite frustrating. So we nearly had a solid additive, actually. If we've got it just enough. Unless this one's going to take quite a lot. Let me go and grab some more. Yes, yeah, so this thing's going to. This thing's going to take a lot of solid additive. So what I might need to do is I might try and actually I'll, I'll get some in there to start with. I'll grab a trailer and I'll come and do a bit of a manual load, get them get them over. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. So this is like one pallet is almost like ten percent, right? Which makes sense that this would have a huge tank because otherwise the amount of bales that it does. Right, rather than sitting here all day. We'll get this guy back to the farm and we'll get it set up. And we've got to get our bale production back underway. So we've got plenty of plenty of grass to cut, so we're not gonna run out of grass anytime soon. And then next job, while the forage wagon is underway, we'll get the animals fed. And we've got some more cotton to cotton to move. Right, so remember how to do this last time. I think we just pull up in position. We basically just go pretty much from here. So if we go fully unfold. No, that's not quite right. 
Let's try it from here. Yep, that works. So, sort of. Cool. So, I'm just gonna detach. And I'm gonna reposition the tractor to a little bit more of a convenient angle. See if that'll see if that'll go. Yep. Cool. Now we should have actually let's turn that off. Just double check our bow size. Cool. Turn off automatic drop. So that should have automatic drop engaged. Alright, let's see if this Cool, I'm glad that connected because I wasn't sure that was going to be the case. I mean, anything with a drawbar and pin should connect. It's just anything that's PTO driven might be a little bit dubious. I've also got plans to put down some slurry tanks, so some additional slurry capacity for the cows, and also potentially putting a spot in for some pigs. So that's also on the cards. Okay. Alright, that should unload and get our process going again. Could definitely do with a bit of a repaint, couldn't it? Alright, so this should wrap. No, it did not. Do I have to turn the rack on? It's definitely grass, isn't it? Okay, so we're not wrapping bales. Let's um, turn that off. Turn on baler, full fold baler, automatic drop, detach. Don't know what's going on here, to be honest. Could it be? So what does it put in there? It's put in two grass, two grass bales. Is that hay? Hmm. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, now it is saying that it's grass. So why is this not wrapping? Oh, don't tell me I didn't get about. Let's just have a look at the machine in the shop quickly. Yeah, so I do 125 centimeter silage bale. The bale wrapper wraps specific goods automatically. I mean, could it be because it's got silage additive, silage additive in there? Because we didn't use the silage additive before, which would be very strange. So this is a, definitely a grass bale. All right. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening there, but let's um let's persevere. Strange game at times. All right. So hopefully this will. So let's go. Turn on harvester. Uh, lower header. Are we cutting grass? Yes, we are. I mean, could this be a slightly different, slightly wider working width? I mean, could be. Alright. Um, let's get this refilled. So I'll just wait till this does its thing. Because I have to sit here and wait. Okay, I'll get that refilled. Where's our telehandler? So I don't think this guy's got a bale fork, so let's have a look. Uh, Tele handler. Yeah, let's go buy a bale fork. The other one I had must have been leased, so let's grab that one. And I'll grab another load of honey while we're waiting. Out of this guy. So we've got the Vo Volvo Globetrotter and the Chrome Prefi Liner. Absolute great match. OK, 
Okay, start filling. Let's grab honey so that'll load while we do other things, which is very handy. Alright, let's go and grab this bow fork. And while we're here, we'll get repaired. Seems like the theme of this episode, actually. Repairing stuff. Okay, repair. Yes. Bell fork's brand new, so we don't need to worry about it. Alright. Let's go move some bales. Now, the other thing we're in the market for is a cow feeding uh, vehicle. So, one of the self self propelled mixing wagons potentially so I haven't decided whether I'm going to go um, full price or try and get something used uh, there was a used one come up but it wasn't a very good discount it probably wasn't the one I was looking for so I want the biggest capacity possible okay let's get this unloaded if it'll let me do so Okay, so I think that one's actually going to be full. Let's have a look. Yep. Now I'm interested, interested to try and test out to see if this new baler will make silage bales. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, unless there's a bug. I mean, I don't see any reason why it couldn't take that grass from before and turn it into the required silage bale. The only thing I'm thinking is that silage additive has done something to it. I don't think I can eject it either, which is a bit problematic. Okay, how are we going for food? Okay, fully stocked. Let's pull out some grass bales from here. Okay, cool. I think that's the last of the, the big ones. So, yeah, we do have a bit of a shopping list that we need to we need to get. Okay, that bat, that forage wagon's done. So we're looking for a harvester, we're looking for a cow feeder, we're looking for maybe a 600 plus horsepower tractor, combine harvester. Um, I want to get the crone big M. Okay, that is got some drift action happening. We didn't get that before. I'm also thinking a hayloft, so maybe in this spare plot that I've got next to this baler, that might be that might be an option. Okay, definitely got grass going in. Okay, not making silage bales. Why is that? Hmm. Let's try that. Might be the automatic drop. Okay, doesn't make a difference. Ah, oh, what it could be. Alright. It could be that the... So the central warehouse... Not the West central warehouse. This trigger point here, this cross... This black and yellow cross hatching line is picking up the bale before it can be wrapped so it's triggering the it's triggering the um, entry into the facility before it has a chance to start wrapping so I think what I'm going to have to do is move back so allow that conveyor belt just to give it a bit of space so it's, it's too close I reckon that's what it is so let's try that on our next run Cool, All right, I'm glad my little setup's working. Okay, so if I turn off the baler, attach. Folding is not allowed when full. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to run through. I'm just gonna have to run, the, run through the material that's in there, and then I'll have to reposition it. Not the end of the world, because we do need some grass for the sheep, so it's a pretty convenient setup. Okay, I'll get this guy. Try and 
dropped off. Cool, telehandler is very handy, I must say. This one's obviously a bit more compact than the uh, New Holland Elite that we did have on lease. Okay, this guy is full, so let's close the cover, see if we can send him over on a load and deliver. Okay, so if we go create job, go to, oh, this is going to be a go to. So let's see if we can send him to just, I think it's just, just out the front. Now which way is he going to go? Okay, interesting. Looks like he's found the road at least. And straight into the power pole. I've got a feeling this is how it's going to go, but let's just, I'll get him started on the straight and narrow. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so open AI worker menu, just out the front. I do find once they're on the road, they tend to do pretty well. When the vehicle's longer, it does become problematic. Okay, can we fold? Fold baler. Oh, hang on, turn off. Fully fold. So what I'm going to do is back this up. Let's try just there. No, it's not going to work. Because you've got to, got to allow room for it to kick out. So if we go, I reckon, maybe... No, it's probably going to be... It's probably going to be too close. Okay, rather than try and manhandle it that way, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and nudge it with the telehandler. So I'm going to push it forward just a fraction. So I just want that bow wrapper to be just out of the way. Okay. Got a feeling that's probably still too close. I mean, not the most conventional way to move machinery, but we'll get the job done. So if I come at this front on, so that bale turner will put it basically on that line. So what I really want it to do is put it on that corner primarily. So let's just. Give another hit. Um, I reckon that might do it. So let's let's see how we go. That forage harvester is done. Our truck and trailer combination didn't get far, but there was always <laughs> literally drove down the street and couldn't make the turn. Alright, we'll go back and fix that up in a second. I just want to make sure these silage bales are working. Let's see if we get some Tokyo drift action here. Cool, Paul Walker, eat your heart out. Okay, so if we drop that off, go and turn this on. So turn on automatic drop. Turn baler on. And let's see what happens now. Yeah, there we go. So that's what happened. That was that, that's what was happening before. The wrapping animation was happening inside the the, the trigger area. So now this should pop it on the line. Bang. Beautiful. 
Love it when a plan comes together. All right, so silage bale production is back underway, so that's very good. Let's get get this mail back underway. Now I'm definitely underutilizing these fields that I've purchased, that's for sure, because I tend to just mow uh, this one continually. But for now, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, the worker's still trying to get there. Let's go and get this stuff dropped off. One of these days I'll make that turn. Haven't done so so far, but we'll get there. All right, should be another hundred grand or so. All right, 102,000, so pretty good going. All right, so that seems like a good place to end this episode. So what I'll do is I'll drive this guy back to the farm. We'll carry on with our operations and we'll go from there. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know how you're liking the series. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye for now.